cetera. If you're a parent and you're a kid 18 years or younger, you may want to know this. One in five people will experience some kind of mental health concern or issue, while five in five people have mental wellness, and we need to take care of that. Thankfully, there are services for us rapscallions, and thankfully, we are all working together, including Mayak, the Mayor's Youth Advisory Committee. We act as a voice for the youth of Niagara Falls, and we strive to make the city a better place for youth to live, learn, and grow. We feel strongly about youth mental health and want to do our part as advocates in order to reduce stigma and to promote positive coping strategies, much like these fine folks over here. Both the public and Catholic school boards have mental health and addiction strategies that outline a tiered approach to working with us students. These strategies focus on prevention, promotions, intervention through stigma reduction, staff training, and our curriculum. So, what does that even mean? Well, it means that we have teams at the school and system level to help implement the strategy. And clinical professionals who work with our students in need. Both boards have our own mental health and addiction strategies, but our goal is the same, mental wellness for all students. We also work with community partners who provide support and education in our schools and in the community. Ah, like public health. The public health department has a variety of wellness programs and services for youth and parents in our community and in our schools. They also help me with my love life. So, there's this girl I really, really like and have been making lunches for her all week and she doesn't even acknowledge me. What do I do? Well, it sounds to me like we need to talk about warning signs to an unhealthy relationship. Uh, okay, let's talk about you. Okay, well, public health nurses in Niagara are in every high school. We also offer a free one-on-one -on -one confidential service for our students and work collaboratively with staff and students at the school to create a healthy school environment. So, no more lunches? No, I'm thinking not. How about baker cookies? No cookies. <sighs> hey, Kelly. Hey, Jacob. Let's talk Pastone. Pastone Mental Health is the Niagara Region's lead mental health agency for children from birth to age 18. One of the special services that we provide here at Pastone is the school-based service, where clinicians actually go into the schools and provide service for children for behavioral or mental health issues. Being a kid ain't easy. It sure isn't. That's why we also have a crisis line that's available 24-7 for students anytime, anyplace. You guys are like a one-stop shop. Helping youth is a team effort. Hey, Paul. Hey, Jacob. Paul from Kaysen, ladies and gentlemen. Kaysen provides comprehensive alcohol, drug, and gambling addiction treatment for individuals and their families. That's right. We provide confidential counseling in the schools from both DSBN and Niagara Catholic. The youth themselves can make a referral. It can come from family, it can come from the school themselves. And then you just make the referral directly to the counselor in your school. You know, uh, coffee is addictive, eh? <laughs> That's a myth. Last but certainly not least, we have Contact Niagara, the central information and referral access point for local children and youth under 18, looking for ministry-funded mental health development and autism services en français and in English. Take it away, Joanne. It's actually through a detailed intake process that we determine services needs and we refer children and youth to the most appropriate agency. We also provide additional information regarding program and services within the community and support the individual needs of children and youth, as well as their families. So you're working with these guys? Exactly. We're all working together. To reduce stigma. To teach coping skills. To promote mental wellness. Increase help-seeking behaviors. To support people struggling with addiction. Essentially, be there for our parents and youth. And beautiful people, you are not alone. Resources are available. 